does it if you're new hi i'm lou i post weekly videos be sure to hit the subscribe button down below or the um icon in the bottom right corner of this video for more videos i would love for you to come back and join all right without further ado let's get into it so i'm coming at you guys with my top 10 lippies for valentine's day whether you're spending it with your boo with your girlfriend or you know by yourself and you're wearing makeup that day these are just some fun lippy choices i thought i'd put a spin on it rather than just doing a pink or red makeup tutorial i thought i'd just come at you with some of my lippy choices on my face that i would wear on valentine's day so i've got 10 we're doing reds we're doing purple we're doing some unconventional vamps we're doing nude we're doing it all so stay tuned for more guys so first we have the reds we've got the og red all right we cannot have a red lipstick without this og and this is ruby woo by mac this was my first ever mac lipstick that i bought and it was actually it was a red interesting enough and um it was a matte and this is the uh, max retro matte formula it has so many connotations for being the driest lipstick ever driest matte lipstick the key to this is using a lip scrub or a sugar scrub beforehand scrub your lips moisturize them when i sit down to do my makeup i put moisturizer on so that by the time i'm done with it it's kind of soaked into my lips a bit so moisturize your lips and this will glide on it's just you know a red that i love and as a bullet lipstick you know it's easy to put in your bag or your purse whatever you're carrying out on the if you're going out during the day or at night time i think it'll be a perfect red it is a blue based red and um, so i think it suits everybody i think this color is pretty known to suit everyone and it's readily available it's a permanent for max range so i recommend ruby woo valentine's day it'll be really nice and because of the texture of ruby it's quite matte so i mean kissing wise i mean it might be kiss proof who knows you can test the theory but i'm sure you know your boo can make an exception for valentine's day regarding getting lipstick on them so next i have a new favorite if you tune into my favorites video um, my 2017 favorites video i mentioned this formula of liquid lipstick as being one of my faves and this specific shade has been hands down my favorite red in my collection as of currently it is the nars power matte lip pigment in the shade don't stop don't stop and it um it looks like this is kind of like a matte mattified um casing with the color peeking through it is a pretty true red the bullet looks like this the applicator it's pretty precise it's very small rigid you can get into the crevices and put this on i love this color a it's a true for me it's a true red it's like i think it's one of my only true reds in my collection whenever i put this color on i always get compliments it is matte so if you know if you're going out somewhere where you're not necessarily eating and you're doing a daytime activity or you're just doing an activity this will survive the whole trip the formula feels amazing on my lips i don't feel like i get dried out lips you know sometimes when you wear those um matte liquid lipsticks your lips feel like prunes or you know dried raisins or whatever i don't get this with this lipstick so i really love this this would be another rec top recommendation for a red they do um they do have other reds in this in this lineup but this red was the one that i loved so much and um it's, i mean it's the only red i have in this lineup there are other colors in this formula but for a red specifically don't stop by nars power matte lip pigment brilliant formula i think it will last the evening or the day unless you're eating oily food it looks amazing and it's really comfortable and those are keys when you're wearing lipstick especially matte lipstick my last true red inclusion is from jouet and um, with jouet i didn't realize on their website how small the lipsticks are until they turned up and i was like oh this is quite small this is smaller than i envisioned but anyway this color is called cabernet by jouet it's really little i guess so it's handy for your bag to take if you need to reapply um they smell quite nice You've got like a vanilla-y kind of cupcake kind of scent then again if you are sensitive to scents it might not be for you but i mean this was again one of my this is one of my first i think i've only got two jouet lippies but i really like this i get compliments again when i whenever i wear this formula it is more of a dark red the applicator i love this because the, the actual handle for it is really small so i feel like you can really have control and manipulate the lipstick the applicator is quite nice the formula is kind of like a creamy kind of 
liquid lipstick it's like a, it's, it's a cream it's like a cream that you apply on similar to the NYX um, soft matte lip pigment I think and um, so this one's a deeper red if you're after sort of a you know a nighttime kind of red you want to be a bit more sultry I think this is this might be the shade for you so I really like this the formula is comfortable it does sometimes after a while dry a little bit so maybe if you're looking for something for an all day maybe not this one but it is a good inclusion I think it's it's a nice red in my collection I really like this red so next I'm going to do some pinks and purples I've only got two one's a bullet one's a, one's a bullet lipstick one's a liquid so the first one we'll do maybe bullet lipstick we've got another MAC OG this was the lipstick that I actually wanted to buy first from MAC but they were out of stock because it was so popular and this shade is Rebel a lot of people probably have heard of Rebel if you haven't this is Rebel <laughs> it is a purple kind of this was my first course sort of deep purple vampy lipstick my collection it is quite well loved um, I think it, it would be amazing if you're not after a true red, you know, you might not want to wear red on Valentine's Day, you know, it's kind of like, has the saying go from Devil and um, Devil West Prada and florals in spring, you know, revolutionary, it's kind of like that, you know, wearing red on Valentine's Day is kind of a given, if you want to switch it up, you might not want to wear a red, so I think this is an alternative, it's quite playful, I mean, in the bullet form, it looks quite vampy and deep, but it's not necessarily a deep vampy kind shade it is a nice it is a nice purple light 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 borderline light vampy purple I quite like it it is in the satin finish so it's going to be a bit more comfortable it won't be transfer proof but then if you're you know going to dinner those sorts of things it might not matter I guess you know your your significant other can make an exception I really like this shade it is comfortable to wear and you know we're not all about not everybody's about matte lipstick some people do like cream sheen some people do like satin some people do like gloss so that's okay so rebel I love comfortable looks good and you can just drop it in your purse Next, I have a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D this is the shade Miss Argentina this is a newer not new a newer edition in my collection but I love this pink don't let this shade alarm you it does dry down a bit darker but again you know you might not want to wear purple you might not want to wear red you want to stick in the same stick to the same color family but this is quite a nice shade to wear um, I do love how slimline her um, lip, lip, lip lipsticks are cat and the formula I find the formula really comfortable um, the wand is really nice to apply with it's quite a skinny one it is a bit long but because it's skinny I think it's easy to manipulate it's small I really like small applicators a bit feathered the formula itself the lipstick is quite liquidy but I find it easy to manipulate and use I've not had any issues with it um, it's pretty it's slim line it can fit in your purse or your wallet or your clutch whatever you're taking out day or night time it does like I said it does dry down darker than this but it is quite a nice shade especially on someone of like on a deeper skin tone it's quite a nice it's a nice shade to have if you're really fair this will look bomb this would actually look amazing if you're really fair as well it would be like a really vibrant poppy kind of color so you might not want to wear red pink is a good way to go I really like this shade so next we're doing sort of more V kind of brown based red kind of shades a bit more uncle we've got first one Urban Decay I absolutely love Urban Decay as a brand in terms of their lipsticks they're affordable in terms of that kind of range of lipsticks they've got such a huge range this color I had to mention it. it is a newer edition again but I absolutely love it and it's a bit different it's called Mosh Pit it is a cream lipstick looks like this it is a bit softer oh no the bullet's quite in nice condition it's got a little Urban Decay um, emblem at the top front but it's called mosh pit it is a cream like I said it's like a movie kind of pink but a deeper pink so if you are after a pink you don't want a bright pink you don't want a deep vampy shade this is quite a pretty shade I think it suits nice skin tones deep skin tones as well but um yeah I'm really I really like it and again it's cream so it's really comfortable um open decay I think they're about 27 shilling dollars here so it is not not too not too dear I really like it. It is. It would look really pretty on Valentine's Day look with quite a neutral eye and pop this on. It would look quite nice. I think. Next one is named after me. <laughs> 
but I'm not putting it in because it's named after me. I do genuinely like the colour. It is from NARS again. It is an audacious lipstick bullet. Now these are quite expensive. I will not lie to you. They are expensive for what they are. They're pretty amazing. The formula's nice. They're comfortable. You do get a lot of lipstick in there, but they are expensive. So if that's not your, that's not up your alley, I guess don't go for it. But it is called Louise. It is like a brown, it's like a red based, a brown based red, I guess, however you want to say it. But it looks like this. Um, the lids are magnetic. The lids are magnetic, which I think is pretty cool. So you can't really go losing the lid. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It has the NARS inscription there. It is a red, a brown based red. I think that's what I said. Who knows? Don't know what the technical term is, but it's nice. It's a bit different. If you want to wear, um, if you if you want to wear red but you're not comfortable or you don't really like red on you but you don't mind a bit of a brown a kind of tinge this is quite nice it's got that brown tinge to it so you know you don't have to be conventional it's 2018 who said you have to wear red on Valentine's Day <laughs> I really really like this bullet and um, yeah again it is a bit on the dearer side but you know each to their own but I really like this and I thought it was worth a mention one of my all-time favorite formulas of liquid lipsticks one of the first liquid lipsticks i tried the brand um, and the formulation it's a bit different it is um Stila. forgive my bullet it's a bit battered but it's from Stila. it is the um it's their all day liquid lipstick formulation and this shade is called rico it is a bit of a bit, a bit more of a nude kind of how do you describe it it's like a mauve it's like a mauve you know those mauvey nudes that were really popular it's like that um i do like the you know the gold packaging i think still used to have black lids and they reformulated them with the christmas line and i guess extended it to the whole range so it is gold it's gorgeous they're not too dear they they are scented so if scent is not your thing i don't think it's a strong scent you can't smell it when it goes on but if scent is not your thing maybe stay away um it's like a you can kind of don't know if you can hear it but um it's like a it's like a creamy kind of formulation the wand is very, it, it moves, it does move, but I, I love this. I recommend, I recommended it to mom and she picked it up as well. She loves the formulation and some of the shades they do. But again, this is like I said, like a deep, kind of like a deeper, more kind of plummy kind of shade. Um, you know, if, you, if you're more comfortable with those nude kind of tones, but you want something a bit different than just your, you know, box, box standard nude, try something like this. From Stila, they do have quite a range, wide range, but um, Rico, I really like this shade and I think it would look so pretty on Valentine's Day. And lastly, I have two more lipsticks and these are um, in the, I guess I would say unconventional because you know, when you think of Valentine's Day, you think of reds, you think of bold reds. So these um, are, are a bit different. I've got a nude and I have a deep vampy shade. I live for a deep vamp. I love vampy colors. I will wear them. In, I don't care if it's not winter wear a vamp in the middle of summer i don't care it looks good <laughs> so i'll start with the nude um it's a bit a bit different i don't know um this is from mac again this one is the part of the lip tensity family it is called the shade is called toast and butter it is one i feel like everything i've included is new but it's newer in my collection but it is a bit newer to me but it's already well loved you'll see the bullet i've kind of attacked it with my nail a bit bit funny different package i like the packaging it's quite cool and i do like that you can see the shade of the lipstick by the bullet that's pretty cool um just backtracking with the urban decay one you can see that it's got a sticker at the bottom to kind of show what color it is so i store mine upside down and then it, you can see what you've got and i also order them by color but i digress but anyway these are um so the MAC, the MAC Lip Tensity in Toast and Butter. So it looks like that. This is also scented. It's, it's a bit lighter than the Stila one though, a bit vanilla-y, but check it out. They've got some nudes as well. They've got some lighter and darker. It is a nice nude. You might want to do a deep smoky eye or a really mauvey smoky eye and then pair it back with something nude. You know, not everybody wants to have a red lip, like I said, I've said multiple times, but it's, I think it's a worthy addition. The lip tensity range is very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. You're not going to get all day wear with this, but I think if you look after this kind of bullet lipstick, you're not looking for that. It's something you would have to reapply, but it feels really nice on your lips. When I 
when it does wear down i don't feel you know sometimes when you wear a lipstick and it, it wears down you feel like your lips are cracking because there's nothing on them this doesn't feel like that this is actually very moisturizing i think it has some sort of moisturizing properties in it but i really like my lips really like it when i wear this and i do reach for this this um, color and shade a lot in this formulation i do have another shade in this range but i really do like this color and i feel a nude is worth a bit and my final lipstick recommendation or choice for valentine's day is again by urban decay and this is part of the comfort matte range and it is a comfort matte i find it is um, it is more comfortable to wear than ruby woo but then like i said if you if you scrub your lips and moisturize them i don't have a problem with the, with ruby so this is called this shade is called blackmail it looks like this the bullets are gorgeous urban decay doesn't really get much credit for their lipsticks i think um, they're gorgeous and they're not expensive at all in my opinion so it looks like this this is just a straight up vamp this is almost black this is this has got the purple undertone to it but it is vamp and you know if you're if you're even doing an anti-valentine's day or anti-valentine's day look and you don't want to wear red you don't want to wear pink or purple you just want to go vampy you know you want to do neutral eye vamp or if you want to even be brave and bold and do a big smoky eye and put a vampy shade on it do you okay do you so that concludes my top 10 valentine's day lippy choices um, i hope you enjoyed it i hope i didn't waffle too much i tend to do that i get really excited i do love lipstick it is my one of my favorite parts of of the makeup routine i just think because you don't it doesn't have to you don't it doesn't have to fit you you don't have to be particularly skilled to put lipstick on you just swipe it on and i can't it's like my armor sometimes i wear nothing but i'll put lipstick on and i'm good to go for that day so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you know you like some of the colors maybe you'll pick some of them up um, leave a comment down below what are you going to be getting up to on valentine's day i'd love to hear it love to engage with you guys thank you so much for watching guys everything mentioned will be linked down below don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and i'll see you next time